he kept on believing in God. We can simply say like the book of Hebrews, he died by faith. He died by faith. Still seeing the city in front of him, the city of God. And I want to say, the vision that this man had will never go to the grave with him. We will lay down his body in, in the ground. But the vision will move on. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and today. I want to encourage all the people who have been who have been touched by this situation. That God Almighty will strengthen you. Especially Mam's story. The whole Stoller family. And everybody who's close to this friend, to, to this family. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord comfort you. In Jesus Christ's name. I read briefly from the word of the Almighty God. Just few words, I believe there are still people who can say, who are going to say things that they know about this soldier. I'm standing here as an evangelist. And I know the heart of this man who's sleeping here, that he, it was a heart for winning souls and people to the kingdom of God. Encourage all the people who love this man and who, were, who are also in the field of evangelism. That what he prophesied, what he said about God. The vision he had about the kingdom of God. Let us make sure that we continue and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. If the people who are sitting on the other side have a privilege to look at us, I pray that this man will look down and smile when he see tents and souls and people coming to the Lord Jesus Christ through the mouth of the, those who are still living in this world. Turn to the book of Acts 13. Reading only verse number 36. Funda, verse 36. It reads as follows. Fundega Ganje. Only for 15 minutes. For when David had served God's purpose in his own generation, he fell asleep. You can close your Bible. When David, Uma David had served God's purpose in his generation, he fell asleep. 
This is the preaching of Paul. Apostle Paul. Preaching and relating the story of David. The summary of the life of David was not hard to write it down. Paul was just making a summary about the life of David. He said David did three things. David was in the dirt. He served God's purpose. In his generation, he fell asleep. Amen. Amen. It is easy for a man who has served God to summarize his life. He served God's purpose in his generation. And he fell asleep. I said, Lad, talk. Only three things. God's purpose. Generation. And he slept. The Bible doesn't talk about many things. The Bible doesn't talk about Goliath. Victory over the Philistines. The Bible doesn't talk about David in the cave of Adullam. The Bible doesn't talk about a great stadium with multitude of people. systems and all the things that we think are making people great in this world. Among his fathers and people. God is not going to look at us and count many things that we have achieved. The greatest thing that God is going to count. Have you served the purpose of God? God. The 
shortest biography. The shortest obituary. The obituary no mumlando on fish and coal. My God. The shortest obituary. Mumlando on fish and coal. People who have been great. Abanda gata baba coal. A different than people who are big. Basuri na wona bantu msamba abanga makawe. Those who are big, labo esrati bakulu. They are big because they have long obituary. Bakulu ngababa na mabala mate. But those who are great, go to a labo abanga bantu mabatu mimbela. They have a short obituary. Baneban and fish. When Paul was reading Paul, David's obituary. Said, when David have served David God's purpose in his generation he fell asleep why say laluto we can say that about nj if we look at the years that he has been in the ministry we can simply say he served God's purpose in his generation and he fell asleep why is it You have been doing it. Saul was also achieving great things in, in his life. No, Saul got a in the cool and pillaniac. But Paul did not have a message for him. But to Paul, why got a nail lies on guy? But with David, he said, Go to what you got a fit. He served God's purpose. Only conceal it, the Bolgangulungol. In his generation, there are people in this world who have been brought forth by God just to serve God's purpose in their generation. They are not called for many things, but to do what they are called for, that's all. John the Baptist, he was not known with many things. Even when they ask him a title or a title in the ministry, oh, how can we call you? Are you a pastor? Are you an apostle? Are you an evangelist? Are you an international speaker? He said, I am the voice. That cry in the wilderness. If the people can hear the voice, I will be doing the purpose of God. I want you to, to listen carefully. The Bible doesn't say when David has served his purpose. The Bible doesn't say Nowadays we talk about your purpose. But the Bible doesn't talk about your purpose. The Bible says David served God's purpose. If we are serving God's purpose, God has a right to pause us when he wants us to pause. God will rewind us if you want to rewind us. God will play fast forward if you want to play fast forward. If it is God's purpose to serve in this world, God has a right to operate the machine. When God said, 
Have you ever seen a, 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 a DVD when you press pause? When you press pause, DVD, you press pause. What do you mean? There you are. It will say, "Cut." Now I'm gonna get up. Make on a nap. If you like, you press rewind. My body will not move. I will move. I will rewind. My body will not move. If you like, you say fast forward. My turn to go to go your party. I do not know in the life of NJ. But the life of this man, God was praying fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forward. And he served God's purpose. And NJ. Does not, does not owe us. He has poured out his life for the gospel of Jesus Christ. He has poured out his life like a sacrifice. I have never seen somebody preaching under the condition that man used to preach in. There are times when I chase him to the crusade and say, Murundi, please wait. I will say, Murundi, I'll come. Go and rest. And he will phone me and say, Rally. Your I want to interpret for you. And I will say, Mfundis, Mfundis, don't interpret for me. Ongang humushes. I want you to sit down. Two words on the pulpit. Mabina makamange pulpit. You will take the microphone. Your tata. The first thing you will say. Idotalish. Niangi zwa ni na mumasondo. Niangi zwa ni na mumasondo. I didn't know exactly what you were saying. I don't know. I don't know. And he, I will say something. He will say, Mfundis, wait. Adi, man of God, Iman. This is a miscall. Sitole has poured out his life. He have served God's purpose. In his generation, he doesn't owe this generation. He has poured out his life for the preaching of the gospel. NJ did not die outside the boxing ring. He died inside the boxing ring. And therefore, his death is victory. It's victory. Because he died climbing the mountain. He never changed his confession even in the last hour of his life. He was saying what I heard him saying the first time I saw him in the early 90s. He was still confessing that at the last hour of his life. And David slept. This man has fallen asleep. There are many people who are dying, but this one is not dead, he's just sleeping. He is he has rested in his works. I was coming from another country just there at, at Oliver Tambo Airport. I was following the crowd of people. And I forgot even to check the signs. When I was walking, I realized that I'm walking with people who are not going where I'm going. And when I look at the people, I'm not going where I'm going. 
look at these people they were not talking they were just holding briefcase and laptops walking like this realize that i didn't check the signs when i ask somebody where are these people going he said where are you going sir I said, I'm going to Johannesburg. He said, this is Johannesburg. But you are walking with wrong people here. You didn't read the sign. Go back and check the sign. I look at the sign. The sign was saying arrival. The other one was saying on transit. Then I realized I was working with people who are on transit. When I look at the people who have arrived, then they were talking and laughing. The Holy Spirit said to me, Your group is it's not this one who have arrived. Your group, you belong to these people. Though you are, you have arrived in Johannesburg. But look at these people. They are just coming to connect the real flight. A Christian life. It's a life where we are on transit. As I am speaking this morning, NJ Stoller had just connected another flight. He has just connected another flight. He's not dead, but he has connected another flight. The flight to eternity.